Oh my... No. Yo, this is your boy James over at Expecto Go, bringing you guys the latest and greatest in Wizards Unite content. And today, we are here. We are here for, you already know, the brilliant event, Battle of the Department of Mysteries Part 2. So, uh, we're going to be grinding. We're going to be trying to get that 500 family, brilliant family XP, and try to continue this storyline that we've all been waiting for. So, yo, without further ado, Let's get this party started. So, yo, we're about to start. We got Hermione breaking it down. Again, if you guys know the dialogue from the first part, she's informing us of what's going on with this part. So we got, as we knew it would, the surge has returned and it remains incredibly specific, focused almost entirely on the night we fought Death Eaters in the Department of Mysteries. Do you think green grass <laughs> could be right? There's more to it. Honestly, no. I think he's wrong, but I've learned over the years that what one thinks and what is the truth do not always match up quite properly. Greengrass can be very sensitive about his department's privacy, but he's also quite smart. We turn everything and hope a reason for this surge presents itself in the process. Uh, exactly. Many of these foundables are top secret. No matter how they happen to get there, they cannot be left out in the world for any length of time. We must act quickly. Uh, brew invigoration drops one time. I'm gonna go in and collect that now. All right, that's done. Return five brilliant prophecy orb foundables. All right, so yo, let's do this. So we just, just finished task one. So we're about to collect right quick. All right, so we got everything from task one. Now, task two, use mass notes on two potions, use invigoration drop two times, and collect two max Death Eater fragments. Now, this is something different from the infographic from Orange Wizard, which we noticed early on, but still easy money. So first, let's go and use uh, Master Notes right quick. Use it on this one. Boom. All right, so that task is knocked out. Now we gotta hit up some Night Bus right quick. So let's do that. Yo, so we just just finished tax two. We are flying through this thus far. We're going to collect our rewards right quick. So let's go. All right, task number three. We're going to be doing the night bus on this one. Uh, earn 7,500 wizarding XP from challenges. Uh, defeat 15 foes in wizarding challenges and complete three wizarding challenges with three or more teammates. So we're going to walk around, find a good spot to hit up the night bus again. But yo, I'm going to show you guys the sunset right quick. Let's go. Yo, all right, so we just 
just got enough of everything to complete task three let's go we've been out here for almost two hours now and um yo that's not bad at all especially getting to task four so we just got to return some brilliance uh, we turned 15 brilliant harry potter foundables that's very specific that's probably going to take long but this definitely earned 500 brilliant uh event battle department of mysteries family xp we're going to see if our prep has come in clutch in regards to the 500 brilliant family xp task um we got some port keys to open we got 10 ready to be open we got a bunch a bunch of brilliant rune stones to be used so um hopefully hopefully we'll be able to knock that task out tonight and see what happens so yo let's <laughs> let's get some xp man yo what is happening Ah, this looks like it might be Harry's handwriting. I can't make out the contents, but I think Harry may have written this. What? All right, so yo, I'm gonna have to screen record this the entire time, cause she keeps popping up out of nowhere. And if I touch the screen to screen record, it's gonna disappear. So that's what I'm gonna have to do. Oh my gosh, so what, is, what note did she get from Harry? And wait, and why is Grim giving it to her? or in placing them into the foundables, the fragments. Well, Harry is the fragment. Oh, what is, what, what is she, what? Why does Grim have Harry? notes and Hermione just popped up and she reads uh, so we have a final note in Harry's handwriting it says this I did this that's it I did this oh my no they are not saying he did they are not they are not saying that Harry's responsible for the calamity they are not saying that. They are not saying that. They are not saying that. Oh my gosh. I did this. That's it. I did this. I did this. I did this. What does that mean? I did this. <laughs> what is happening? What is happening? What? I did this. Why? Why is Grim using these items? Then why is there a note saying Harry I with Harry's handwriting saying I did this? He did that started calamity. Is Grim saying I did this? I, I don't know. Or Gareth trying to pass the buck on to Yo, come on man. This is too much. And Hermione, I need better response from you. Yo, there's more. Could the note be old, something from the past? Or can someone else be using a spell so it looks like Harry's handwriting? Thank you. That's what I think. We could always ask him, is he about? Oh, <gasps> no, he's been conspicuously absent lately. Harry doing his own research. Harry doing his own research. Well, when we find him, he can explain this. I think, maybe, I don't know. Constance, this whole surge is so frustrating. You're frustrating. Harry doing his own research. Harry, yo, Harry about to come through in the clutch. Harry doing his own research. Mm -hmm. 